Bet you didn't think we were gonna shower together, did you? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I still don't have an intro, so yes, this is the intro. This is a very different video for me. I'm in the shower. I'm not getting naked, I promise. But I did want to give you guys like a little shower tour. I'm super nosy about like what's in people's showers. Again, I don't have a huge bathroom. It's actually very, very small. But I am known for having incredible skincare products. I'm lucky enough that a lot of brands send me stuff. I also purchase and repurchase because I never really ask brands for extra stuff. So whenever I run through a product, I will just buy it. As you can see, there's gonna be doubles in here. This is my little corner shower thing. I actually got these little stands on Amazon and they kind of like stick to the wall and then you just hook them and it just holds everything. So I'm just gonna be going through everything that's in my shower. I do have some issues with acne, especially after working out. We're gonna go through everything from shampoos to body washes to my toothbrush, my toothpaste and a bunch of other fun stuff. So if you guys are interested, sit back and relax. Let's go through my shower. Okay, so first off we have the first level here and this is all facial washes. I like to wash my face at night and in the morning, so I have a bunch here and then I do have one in my sink, depending on if I shower in the morning or I shower at night, usually it's both. So first is my tried and true here. This is Ceramic Slip by Sunday Riley. I have very temperamental skin, so I don't like to use anything too harsh. I like this because it's a gentle plant-based cleanser and it has clay in the formula so it kind of pulls out those impurities and just leaves my skin looking radiant and soft. I've been using this for years, I've purchased it many times and it's one of my favorites. Another favorite is this Peach and Lily face wash. It's called Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser Deep Cleanse and Soothe with Camellia and Chamomile. So I have a lot of redness, I have rosacea, I have psoriasis flare-ups during like crazy stressful times in my life which is all the time. So I find that this really soothes my skin. This entire line is actually great if you have any kind of skin conditions. Definitely look into it. They sent me this a while ago and I repurchased it myself. But yeah, love the packaging, super cute. Another tried and true, if you are just getting into face washes and kind of getting into skincare, I love this brand Fresh. This is their soy face cleanser. I think this is one of their hero products, so they've made this for a really long time. It smells really, really fresh, really gentle on your skin. Sometimes I'll use it like on my shoulders, on my body, and I like that it comes in this big size. And then another favorite is this Tata Harper. This is a nourishing cleansing oil. So it goes on as an oil. It's great if you have makeup on, you just wanna wash off in the shower and you don't wanna like use a balm before. I like this because it just really leaves my skin super soft. So I usually will go in with this and then I'll go in with another cleanser or I kind of reverse it depending if I'm wearing makeup or not. But it just gives you that extra moisture barrier and protects your skin. And I really like it, I love this brand. So this is another brand called Osea. I've been using them for a long time, probably like five years. This ocean cleanser smells incredible, super hydrating, super calming on the skin. Let me read what it says. It's for normal, dry, and combo skin, so really for everyone. This pH balance formula removes surface impurities and excess oil. Vegan lactic acid gently exfoliates. Seaweed provides a mineral-rich hydration for a clear, radiant complexion. So this is a Malibu-based skincare company, all family-run. Like I said, I found them years ago. I have a relationship with the company, they're wonderful. They did send me this ocean cleansing mud. I actually don't like this product, surprisingly. It has like a very overwhelming peppermint scent, so when I do wash my face, it makes my eyes like swell up and kind of burn. It's just a little too much for me. I think it's because I'm super sensitive, but this is good for oily skin. And I think there's tea tree oil, peppermint. Yeah, so the peppermint helps with your pores. I don't have big pores, so I don't have that issue. And then this guy is the Vitamin C Probiotic Polish. It's just a little powder and I mix this in with the Ocean Cleanser and it just brightens the skin. It's great if you have any sun damage, if you have dark circles, if you have any like hyperpigmentation. And I just find that adding this to my cleanser sloughs off any like dry skin or just anything that's on my face and it keeps me super radiant throughout the day. I'll use this about like once to twice a week. And then I have two cleansers here that are medical grade. I'm not really gonna talk about them because I don't wanna set you up with something that's not meant for you. You should definitely go to a dermatologist but the brands are PCA and this is called the Sulfa Cleanse. So because I have redness, I want to use something that combats the oil, the redness, and if I'm having like a flare up, is super gentle. But if you use anything medical grade, I highly suggest getting that from your dermatologist. But all the other facial washes and cleansers, I think are suitable for anyone. They're just really, really gentle and I really like that in a cleanser. Okay, the second level here, 
are body cleansers. I have a shampoo in here. So my skin is super temperamental. I know it may look perfect. I've been having like a good run for the past couple of months, but on my arms, I have keratosis pilaris, which is essentially they call like strawberry skin or chicken skin or something. I hate it, but it's just like little bumps. A lot of people have it super common. I think it's genetic for me, but it's always been something that like, I get sad about or that's why like I don't wear a lot of tank tops like because I have nice arms and I don't really show them off ever but I've been using a bunch of products that have really helped and what really helps me is by using those products weekly so listening to your dermatologist and using products like you need to stay on top of it or else it will never work so I've been staying on top of it over the past couple of months and it's been really helping me a few of these products are over the counter and this is a company called soft services this is a clearing clay multi-use breakout treatment for the body so it's essentially like a clay for the body, you put this on in any problem areas and it just strips away a bunch of imperfections and impurities. Good for acne on the back, chest, neck, and butt, blackheads on the body, inflammation, scarring from body acne, patches of discoloration. Also, they make a bunch of other products, including this little soap bar here. This is like a crystallized soap bar. So it's essentially what this is, but it has like crystals in it and it lightly exfoliates any imperfections on your body and just helps get those impurities out. Also this guy, yes, I use a body clear by Neutrogena. This has been around for so long. This is salicylic, salicylic acid acne treatment. I was a swimmer in high school, so I would get acne because of the insane amounts of chlorine and just like sweating and everything when I was out of the pool. And this has always kept my body really clear. This is super cheap. You can get this at any drugstore. I just get it at CVS. If you don't have a lot of money to spend, I highly suggest trying this. It doesn't have any beads or microplastics in it. It is super simple. It's like the yellow one you can't really see, but that's there. Another product is the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub. So this is an exfoliant for keratosis pilaris or KP, which I told you the red bumps on the arm. This really, really helps. Also, I think this helps anywhere on the body. Like if I have any acne on my chest from working out and sweating, I kind of will hit it with that and I've seen it go away and it really just diminishes the redness. Let me read a little bit about it. This fast acting resurfacing body treatment contains chemical and physical exfoliators that work together to deliver the benefits of a chemical peel and microdermabrasion at once. Glycolic and lactic acids help loosen the skin top layer and decongest pores, while the pumice micro crystals slough it away. So really, it's just like a pumice stone with a glycolic acid in it, which is incredible. I love the texture of it. It's super fine. It doesn't feel super gritty and it washes off really nicely. In that same vein is Charcoal Smoothie by Sunday Riley. I love this product. So this is also for KP and any texture that you have on your body or like acne or anything. So this has salicylic acid in it, natural exfoliating powders and detox loving charcoal. It also has Manuka honey in it, coconut water, avocado oil, and it just pulls out those imperfections. I really like this product. It's a little on the pricier side and it is a bit thicker. So if you like something that has like more texture to it, the crystals in it are a bit thicker. I don't mind it. It is also charcoal colored, so it's black. That might bother some people, but I really do like this product a lot. I cannot say enough good things about these products. So this is by Zitsticka. They're newer. I started using them like four months ago. They sent me this one and I'm already done with it. It's almost empty. And then I bought this one. So I first go over my body with this. It's called the Silk Shake. It smells really, really, really good. It's a probiotic cleanser for barrier balance. It has tea tree oil in it. Silk Shake is a nutrient dense body cleanser that balances your skin's microbiome, helping good flora thrive, melting breakout, causing culprits. This lather rich formula also contains tea tree oils and omega-3, 6, and 9 to diffuse redness and irritation during your daily deep cleanse. So I use this and then I go over with Fizz Mountain. This is a body exfoliator. Smells really, really fresh. Isn't really harsh on the body. It's great for sensitive skin. There's chemical and physical exfoliants in here. It has salicylic acid in it, lactic acid, glycolic acid, and just sloughs away any of that dead skin and congestion. I love these because I don't really like scrubs that come in the tub. I like that this comes right out the bottle, the bottom. So these as a duo are wonderful. And then I do have two medical grade cleansers there, but I don't really use those. I kind of stick with my own. And then I do have a shampoo here that is ketoconazole. So I've been dealing with psoriasis for my entire life. It comes and flows. It, it really attacks like the red here and like under my eyebrows, uh, sometimes under my beard and like my hairline and my scalp. 
not on my body, psoriasis, it's awful. Like there are some days when I'm going through a flare up, it hasn't happened in six months, thank God, because I've been like really taking care of it, where my scalp is so red and like my skin is so irritated that I don't go out and I just like cry and I just like throw on a hat and it's just awful. I, go, I just go through those phases it's really bad. Anybody who has it understands I've never spoken about it because I'm super sensitive about it. It honestly, I know it sounds stupid, but it's something that you can't control and they don't have a cure for it. Like there are medications, but they're really harsh on your liver and your organs and I don't really want to put my body through that. So I kind of choose more topical options and lasers and stuff. But since really just staying on a schedule with the shampoo, I use this shampoo like three times a week and then I use like these little drops. Staying on that schedule has really helped. It's given me confidence back. And yeah, it's just, it's a really difficult thing to deal with. If you guys have ever dealt with that, you totally understand. And if you haven't, you're so lucky. This is my toothpaste. This is Crest 3D White in Vibrant Peppermint. I just love this. I've been using Crest for a very long time. They're wonderful. I love this flavor. The peppermint, I like to feel fresh and I sense that it really does keep my teeth white. Also, I forgot to include my toothbrush, but this is the Oral-B IO Series 8 actually. Uh, they just came out with the 9, so I think the 8 will be cheaper. You can get this on Amazon or will be. This is not sponsored, but I've had this toothbrush for a year now, and I'm obsessed because it actually has an app connected to it, and it tells you, you know, what teeth you're hitting properly, if you're brushing too hard, if you're brushing too soft, if you're brushing long enough, which is great. And then it also comes with this really handy um, charging case, so you can actually charge it. And if you're going away for a weekend, you just bring the case, you don't have to bring the charger, which is really nice. But yeah, this is my favorite one right now. Okay, so for body washes, I am obsessed with this brand. It's called Salt Air. It comes in these aluminum bottles. These are the three fragrances that I have. So. This black one's a little more masculine. This is called Black Tide. This one is Centaur Bloom. And this one is Exotic Pulp. This one's my favorite. If you guys get a body wash, 100% get this. I think they're $12. It's my friend Iskra's company. It's wonderful. They're refillable. You can buy just the bottle or the bottle and the pump. So if you want to get a refill, you don't have to buy the plastic pump again, which is wonderful. All of these are serum body washes. So they are infused with skincare, which is something that I think you guys will be seeing a lot of in the next year or two in skincare. So this one is a skin brightening serum. I love that because I wanna keep my skin bright and gorgeous. This one here is a hydrating body wash. So keeping your skin super hydrated. And this one is a skin rejuvenating serum body wash. It has mano oil, Koopa Koopa Butter, Kukua Oil. This one has Microalgae, Brazil Nut Oil, Squalane. This one has Passion Fruit Oil, Camu Camu. Some words I can't pronounce, but this one smells so good. It smells like a tropical paradise. This is my favorite. And then this one, and then this one, but they're all really nice. And they have a bunch of other ones that you can read about on the website as well. Okay, I'm not a huge bath person, but I do love these fresh sugar bath cubes. This is sugar lychee. They just smell really nice. They fizzle really nicely. I feel like my skin is a lot smoother. Again, I don't take a lot of baths because hot water is just not good for my skin. I take like mid-range, like cooler showers, but I do love that for the bath. And then I love this brand. It's called Foria. These are bath salts with CBD and lavender. So if I had like an insane day, I'll put this in the bath and just soak for like 10 minutes. This is the wellness version. So it's great after a workout. Again, if you were stressed or something, add a quarter of the jar or more directly to your bath. That seems a little excessive. I do like a couple tablespoons. And I told you that I don't really like body scrubs in like a tub, but this one was sent to me. This is by Way. This is a scalp and body scrub. It's heavily fragranced. It's not my favorite, but I do sense that it does a good job at scrubbing away any extra like dead skin on your body. I use it more on my legs and on my feet because I don't really want it on my upper body. But this is a nice product. I do like the brand. They make a lot of great hair products. And actually one more product for baths. I have this herbal bath oil. This is called, it's by the brand Nip, K-N-I-P-P. This is warmth and energy. It smells like spruce and pine. Sometimes I'll add this to a shower or I'll add it to a bath and it's just like gives it a really good smell and just like calms me, puts me at ease. Like sometimes I'll put on like a face mask and just kind of like chill for a little bit. Sometimes I'll have like a little movie playing or something. And then at the end when my hair is still wet, I use this hydrating cream by Moroccan Oil. This is just super hydrating. I use it before I go to bed and my hair is naturally like curly how it should be and just super soft. 
You guys think I have enough products? I have so much more skincare, it's insane. But this is everything that's in my shower. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My shower is not luxurious, it's not glamorous, it's not like a huge, like massive shower. It's literally just a shower with blue tiles. I am doing a reno process this summer, so we will be changing some things up and trying to make it a little bigger. And at that point, I will do like a full bathroom tour. But right now, it's really simple. It's not like my favorite place in the house, but again, I just shower here. Oh, also, I actually almost forgot. I do have this, this is a little bench kind of desk situation, like this little slab of wood has this natural edge right here. I got this on Etsy, I think. I love it because I can put my iPad here, my laptop. Here I can put like a candle or a drink. This is for a glass of wine, but I don't really drink at all. So you can slide that on there. And I just like it. I like lay it down on the bath so I can watch a movie if I am taking a bath. Otherwise, I just kind of store it here on the side. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed everything and some of the products help you. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. Make sure you like this video, share it, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the comments. I still don't have an outro, so yes, this is the outro. Bye!